Step into a world where the summer sun casts a golden glow on sandy shores, where laughter dances on the salty breeze, and where the tides of love and self-discovery crash upon the shores of adolescence. Welcome to the enchanting realm of The Summer I Turned Pretty by the talented and imaginative author, Jenny Han. Jenny Han, a master storyteller with a pen dipped in the hues of youthful longing and heartache, invites readers on a captivating journey through the pages of this captivating novel. Born with an innate ability to capture the essence of teenage emotions, Han weaves a tale that resonates with readers of all ages, tugging at heartstrings and leaving an indelible mark on the soul. But who is Jenny Han, the architect of this literary masterpiece? A magician of words and emotions, Han possesses an innate talent for crafting narratives that transport readers to the sun-soaked beaches of their own memories, awakening long-forgotten feelings and stirring the depths of their souls. Hailing from the vibrant city of Richmond, Virginia, Han found solace and inspiration in the power of stories from a young age. With a thirst for adventure and a love for the written word, she embarked on a journey of self-discovery through literature, guided by the belief that stories possess the transformative power to heal, inspire, and challenge the confines of the human experience. Armed with a degree in creative writing from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, Han set forth on a path to share her unique voice with the world. Her words, dripping with raw emotion and nuanced vulnerability, found a home in the hearts of readers globally, establishing her as a beloved figure in contemporary young adult literature. The Summer I Turned Pretty serves as a testament to Han's prowess as a storyteller. With delicate strokes of her pen, she paints a vivid portrait of Belly, a young woman on the precipice of adulthood, navigating the complexities of love, friendship, and self-discovery during those ephemeral months that forever altered the course of her life. Through her evocative prose, Han effortlessly transports readers to the idyllic beach house, where secrets are whispered by crashing waves, where desires bloom like seashells in the sand, and where the hazy heat of summer ignites passions that linger long after the season fades away. As you delve into the following pages, prepare to be captivated by the intertwining threads of longing, heartbreak, and self-realization. Han's skillful storytelling will leave you breathless, yearning for just one more chapter, one more glimpse into the intricate world she has meticulously crafted. So, dear reader, prepare to embark on a journey that will transport you to the sun-drenched shores of nostalgia, where the echoes of first love and the poignant beauty of self-discovery await. The Summer I Turned Pretty is a literary gem that will linger in your thoughts, long after you've turned the final page. Brace yourself for a summer you won't soon forget. The Beach House The beginning of The Summer I Turned Pretty introduces us to Belly, a young girl eagerly anticipating the arrival of summer. For Belly, summer means one thing, the beach house. Every year, Belly and her family spend their summers at the beach house alongside their close family friends, the Fishers. This beach house holds a special place in Belly's heart, as it's a backdrop to the most memorable moments of her life. As Belly arrives at the beach house, a sense of excitement and familiarity washes over her. The place is filled with cherished memories of childhood adventures, laughter, and the warm embrace of the ocean breeze. It's a place where Belly feels a sense of belonging, where she can escape the pressures and expectations of everyday life. The beach house is more than just a physical location, it represents a sanctuary where Belly's true self can emerge. Surrounded by the idyllic coastal setting and the company of the fishers, Belly feels a sense of freedom and possibility. The beach becomes a canvas for their shared experiences, building sandcastles, playing beach volleyball, and swimming in the waves until sunset. In this enchanted setting, Belly's relationships with the Fisher brothers, Conrad and Jeremiah, begin to take center stage. Belly has always harbored a secret crush on Conrad, the brooding and mysterious older brother. She yearns for his attention and longs for him to see her as more than just a little sister. Jeremiah, on the other hand, is the kind-hearted and easygoing younger brother who has always been there for Belly, offering friendship and companionship. 
As the summer unfolds, Belly notices a shift in the dynamics between herself and the Fisher brothers. Conrad and Jeremiah start to see her in a different light. Suddenly, Belly is not just the annoying little sister anymore, she is a beautiful young woman who captures their attention. This newfound attention fills Belly with both excitement and apprehension. She wonders if this will be the summer when everything changes, when her long-held dreams of love and romance might finally come true. Amidst the laughter, shared meals, and long conversations under the starry sky, Belly's emotions swirl in a sea of uncertainty. She yearns for Conrad's affection, yet finds solace and comfort in Jeremiah's unwavering friendship. Caught between her feelings for both brothers, Belly is faced with a choice that could alter the dynamics of their relationships forever. As the summer progresses, Belly's journey of self-discovery unfolds against the backdrop of the beach house. She navigates the complexities of her own emotions, the ebb and flow of relationships, and the inevitable changes that come with growing up. Through it all, the beach house remains a constant, a place of refuge and transformation, where Belly learns valuable lessons about love, heartbreak, and the power of embracing one's true self. Part 1 of The Summer I Turned Pretty lays the foundation for the emotional roller coaster that Belly will embark upon. It sets the stage for the summers of her life, where the beach house becomes not only a physical location but also a symbol of personal growth, love, and the bittersweet beauty of youth. Between the sea and the sky. In Part 2 of The Summer I Turned Pretty, the story delves deeper into the intricate web of relationships and emotions that surround Belly. As the summer continues at the beach house, Belly finds herself caught in a delicate balance between her longing for Conrad and her growing connection with Jeremiah. Belly's feelings for Conrad intensify with each passing day. She finds herself drawn to his brooding nature, the way his eyes hold a hint of mystery. Conrad, who has always seen Belly as a little sister, begins to reveal glimpses of a different side, one that is vulnerable and full of hidden depths. Their interactions become charged with unspoken tension, leaving Belly yearning for more. However, Belly's path to Conrad's heart is far from smooth. Mixed signals and uncertainty shroud their interactions, leaving her questioning whether their connection is genuine or merely a product of the summer's intoxicating atmosphere. She grapples with the fear of rejection and the fragile nature of their evolving relationship. In the midst of her internal struggle, Belly finds solace in Jeremiah's presence. He is a constant source of support, understanding, and companionship. Their friendship deepens, and Belly starts to realize the depth of her connection with Jeremiah. He sees her for who she truly is, offering a sense of stability and comfort that contrasts with the tumultuous dance she shares with Conrad. The love triangle between Belly, Conrad, and Jeremiah becomes more pronounced as jealousy and tension begin to simmer beneath the surface. Belly is torn between her desire for Conrad, the boy who has always held her heart, and her growing affection for Jeremiah, the friend who understands her in ways no one else does. Each brother represents a different path, and Belly must navigate the treacherous waters of her own emotions to discover which one holds the key to her happiness. As the summer unfolds, Belly becomes increasingly aware of the consequences her choices may have on the delicate fabric of their relationships. She grapples with her own desires, trying to balance her heart's yearnings with the potential fallout. In her quest for love and self-discovery, she seeks guidance from Taylor, Conrad's ex-girlfriend, who offers insights into the complexities of relationships and the delicate nature of teenage love. The beach house serves as a backdrop to these emotional entanglements, witnessing the unspoken confessions, stolen glances, and heartfelt conversations that shape Belly's journey. The crashing waves and salty air mirror the ebb and flow of her emotions, reflecting the highs and lows of her experiences. The beach becomes a metaphor for the fluidity of love, forever shifting and evolving. Part 2 of The Summer I Turned Pretty takes readers on a roller coaster ride of emotions, 
as Belly grapples with her own desires and navigates the intricate dynamics of a love triangle. Against the backdrop of the beach house, she learns the true meaning of friendship, the complexities of the heart, and the transformative power of a summer that forever changes her. The Mermaid's Curse In Part 3 of The Summer I Turned Pretty, the story takes a poignant turn as Belly confronts the consequences of her choices and navigates the complexities of love, loss, and self-discovery. The idyllic beach house setting becomes the backdrop for significant moments of growth and introspection. Belly's journey of self-discovery intensifies as she faces the realities of her relationships with Conrad and Jeremiah. She begins to understand the weight of her decisions and the impact they can have on those around her. The carefree days of summer start to give way to deeper emotions and profound realizations. Amidst the shifting dynamics, a tragic event rocks the beach house community, forever altering the lives of Belly and her loved ones. The profound loss they experience forces them to confront their own mortality and the fragility of the moments they hold dear. As they grapple with grief, the bonds between the characters strengthen, and they find solace in one another's presence. Belly finds herself relying on the support system of the beach house, leaning on her family and the fishers for strength and understanding. The summer becomes a time of healing, as they navigate their shared sorrow and learn to appreciate the fleeting beauty of life. The beach, once a place of carefree joy, becomes a sanctuary for reflection and introspection. In the midst of their collective grief, Belly discovers the importance of cherishing the present moment. She learns to embrace the love that surrounds her, to seize opportunities for connection and vulnerability. The Mermaid's Curse, a recurring motif throughout the story, serves as a reminder of the transience of happiness and the need to fully embrace the fleeting beauty of life. As Belly grapples with her own emotions and reconciles her desires with the realities of her relationships, she discovers her own strength and resilience. She learns that love is not always straightforward, that it can be messy and complicated, but that it's also worth fighting for. The summer becomes a crucible of self-discovery, forcing Belly to confront her own insecurities, make difficult choices, and ultimately grow into a more self-assured young woman. Throughout Part 3, the beach house remains a constant presence, witnessing the characters' journeys of love and loss. It becomes a symbol of resilience and transformation, as Belly and her loved ones find solace in its familiar embrace. The crashing waves serve as a reminder of the cyclical nature of life, the constant ebb and flow of joy and heartbreak. Part 3 of The Summer I Turned Pretty explores the depths of human emotion and the transformative power of loss. It delves into themes of resilience, healing, and the profound impact of shared experiences. Against the backdrop of the beach house, Belly learns valuable lessons about the impermanence of life and the importance of embracing both joy and sorrow as she emerges stronger and more self-aware. The Last Summer In Part 4 of The Summer I Turned Pretty, the story reaches its climax as Belly confronts her feelings and the choices that will shape her future. This final summer at the beach house becomes a pivotal moment in her journey of self-discovery. Belly's internal struggle intensifies as she grapples with the weight of her emotions and the consequences of her actions. The love triangle between Belly, Conrad, and Jeremiah reaches a boiling point, demanding resolution and forcing her to confront her own desires and the potential repercussions of her decisions. She finds herself at a crossroads, torn between the familiar pull of Conrad's brooding intensity and the deep connection she shares with Jeremiah. Each brother represents a different path, each choice carrying its own set of consequences. Belly must confront her own fears and insecurities, and find the courage to make a decision that will shape the course of her relationships and her own sense of self. As Belly embarks on a journey of self-discovery, she seeks solace and clarity in the beauty of the beach. The crashing waves and endless expanse of the ocean mirror the vast possibilities before her. She reflects on the transformative power of the previous summers and the ways in which they have shaped her understanding of love, friendship, and personal growth. Throughout this final summer, 
Belly confronts the ghosts of her past, unravels her own desires, and navigates the complexities of young love. The beach house, once a symbol of carefree summers, becomes a backdrop for heartfelt conversations, heartfelt conversations, and emotionally charged moments that lay the foundation for the future. As the summer draws to a close, Belly faces the consequences of her decisions. She experiences the bittersweet realization that growing up means making difficult choices and accepting the inherent losses that come with them. The last summer becomes a time of closure, as she seeks to reconcile her own desires with the inevitable passage of time. In the closing chapters of The Summer I Turned Pretty, Belly emerges from her transformative journey with a newfound sense of self. She has learned to trust her own instincts, to navigate the complexities of love, and to embrace the uncertainty that accompanies life's transitions. The beach house, the place that has witnessed her growth and transformation, becomes a symbol of cherished memories and a reminder of the person she has become. The epilogue offers a final glimpse into Belly's life, as she reflects on the transformative power of the beach house summers. She acknowledges the impact these experiences have had on shaping her identity and the enduring memories she carries with her. The story concludes with a sense of nostalgia and gratitude for the summers that changed everything. Part 4 of The Summer I Turned Pretty is a culmination of Belly's journey, a testament to the complexities of love and the transformative power of self-discovery. Against the backdrop of the beach house, Belly navigates the turbulent waters of her own emotions, ultimately finding her own path and embracing the possibilities that lie ahead. Forever Summer The epilogue of The Summer I Turned Pretty provides readers with a final glimpse into Belly's life after the transformative summers at the beach house. It serves as a reflection on the lasting impact of those formative years and the ways in which they continue to shape her understanding of love, family, and personal growth. Years have passed since the last summer at the beach house, and Belly finds herself on the cusp of adulthood. The memories of those unforgettable summers remain etched in her heart, a testament to the enduring power of the beach house and the relationships forged within its walls. Belly reflects on the lessons she learned during those transformative summers, the bittersweet moments of love and loss that shaped her into the person she is today. She realizes that the beach house was not just a physical place but a sanctuary for her soul, a refuge where she discovered her true self and forged lifelong connections. The characters we have come to know and love are woven into Belly's present, their influence evident in the choices she has made and the person she has become. Conrad, the brooding and enigmatic love of her youth, still lingers in her thoughts, a ghost from the past. Jeremiah, her steadfast friend, remains a pillar of support and stability, a reminder of the enduring power of true friendship. Belly contemplates the complexities of love and the unpredictable nature of relationships. She acknowledges the role timing and circumstance play in the trajectory of our lives, recognizing that sometimes the right person comes into our lives at the wrong time. The beach house, with all its memories and emotional weight, becomes a symbol of the beauty and impermanence of youth. As Belly navigates the challenges of adulthood, she carries the lessons of those summers with her. She understands that life is a series of seasons, each with its own unique beauty and challenges. The summers at the beach house taught her to embrace change, to find strength in vulnerability, and to appreciate the fleeting moments of joy that come with the passage of time. The epilogue offers a sense of closure, not only for Belly but for readers who have followed her journey. It serves as a reminder that life is a continuous cycle of growth and transformation, and that the impact of our past experiences never truly leaves us. The beach house, with its sun-kissed memories and the laughter of loved ones, lives on in Belly's heart, forever a part of who she is. In the final pages of The Summer I Turned Pretty, Belly's narrative voice is filled with a sense of gratitude and nostalgia. She acknowledges the profound influence the beach house and the people she shared those summers with had on shaping her life. The epilogue serves as a love letter to the past, a tribute to the enduring power of memories, and a reminder that some summers, and the lessons learned within them, 
stay with us forever. As the book concludes, readers are left with a sense of both closure and possibility. The story of Belly's journey may have ended, but the memories and lessons learned continue to resonate. The beach house, with its sandy shores and endless waves, becomes a timeless symbol of the transformative power of love, friendship, and the summers that forever changed everything.